South Carolina is recognized for any questions he may have for the panel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I'll be brief. Um, I agree with one thing from the other side. We should have had these done by now. We should have. Um, it should have been done, as Thomas says, early in the year. Now, my solution would be, uh, and I think the good thing about what we're doing here now, I think you're going to see these out a lot quicker than uh, the final days next year. Uh, the only, only um, caveat I would add, Thomas, is if they're not, then we get our, every salary of 535 members gets cut 10% a day. Let's see how fast we get these appropriations out. Now, some of the statements that have been said that really shock me, it's where our walls don't work. Um, I think the doors to this facility with locks work keeping people out. I think the doors to our houses keep people out. And I would add, the wall is paid for. I've been to the border. The steel is on the ground. So that's, um, to me, makes common sense. Secondly, concerned about the Border Patrol agents? This administration has handcuffed the Border Patrol agents. Go talk to them. I did, um, actually, after when COVID was hitting, they were concerned about babysitting then. That's un unacceptable. Now, what's even more unacceptable is you see the government cutting the wires, the lines, to prevent the illegals from coming across. And most, what's more absurd, and I cannot believe y'all would not put up a fight over this administration giving Social Security numbers to illegals. Not only is that unconstitutional, that's, that's, uh, that's not fair to the American people. Now, the good news, y'all are getting so much heat among your own members. When your own members get booed in New York City, you're going to see it getting strong. The boos are going to be getting more stronger and louder because of what's happening. We're in a, we're in a national security crisis right now. I just want to thank each of you for, for your work that you've done on this. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, un-American what what's, has happened that was not here three and a half years ago. It's, it's all the, the uh, responsibility of the administration for the press secretary to dodge questions on this um, and, and to say that anything else uh, is, is uh, other people are, uh, are, are, are to blame. It's like blaming Putin for the gas prices going up. It is absolutely absurd. Uh, one thing, which one of you said there was some payments cut to China out of this? Uh, Mario, did you say that? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. So, so one of the things that to me was very shocking. So we, we have, as I mentioned, sir, we've gone after, we've looked at every penny, every dollar, and you know, we've scrubbed everything we can. And what we found is that uh, sometimes directly and sometimes indirectly, U.S. taxpayer money spent abroad, uh, and I mentioned, for example, one case of, of money, uh, for example, from international lending institutions going to countries. Those countries then used that money to pay, pay back loans to China. And so, needless to say, sir, heck no. Heck no. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think we should be spending anything anywhere that goes to China, the Communist Party of China, including, by the way, in a secondary fashion through things like that. And, and as, I, as I mentioned, the part that I was respectfully shocked about, uh, which I've submitted uh, for the record here, is that in the press release, and as I mentioned, by the leadership of the committee, Democratic leadership, who I have great respect for, of the committee, they actually, well, you know, they, they did a press release criticizing the bill. That's expected. And so they only picked out a few items, right? They can't pick everything. And among the things that they chose to highlight that they are objecting to is when we cut funds, as I mentioned, uh, I, um, either to the Communist Party of China, to China, but then also to institutions affiliated with, as I mentioned, those countries, North Korea, Iran, Cuba, Venezuela. And that's why I said respectfully, sir, because I obviously in front of this uh, August committee, uh, that's in the category of you can't make this stuff no, you, up. You really can't. You know, we need to highlight statements like you just made to the American people. That is, you know, it's unfathomable that they would do that. The other thing, the dollars you allocated for deportation, which the next administration is going to do, assuming we get out of, we get out of this horror show, uh, is the only way to right the wrong. 
And so thank you for your work on it. And, um, I have no further questions. Thank you very much. Uh, my good friend from Texas, uh, Mr. Royce, recognized for any questions he may have for the panel. 